Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about the concept chromosomal disorder. As the name indicates, it's a disorder caused mainly due to absence of chromosome or excess of chromosome or abnormal arrangement of one or more chromosome. This gain or loss of chromosome mainly occurred during the cell division process. In particular, it occurred during the meiosis. You all know that normally in the cell division process, the chromatid will separate or segregate and this separated chromatid will be equally distributed to the produced daughter cell. But sometime or in the rare cases, these chromatids will fail to segregate or they do not segregate normally. Because of that, there is a gain or loss of chromosome in the produced daughter cell, which results in chromosomal disorder. As a result of this gain or loss of chromosome in the produced daughter cell, there is an increase or decrease in the chromosome number from the normal diploid set. Normal diploid set means the individual will be having a particular set of chromosome number. Because of this loss or gain in the chromosome, there is a change in the chromosome number in that particular individual. And that change can be aneuploidy or polyploidy. We will discuss the meaning of aneuploidy and polyploidy one by one. First, let me talk about the concept aneuploidy. Aneuploidy refers to addition or deletion of one or more chromosome from the normal diploid set. You all know that in the case of human, the diploid number of chromosome is 46. Out of that, 44 chromosomes are called as autosome and the other two chromosomes are called as allosomes or sex chromosome. Anomalies can occur both in autosomes or sex chromosomes or allosomes and that can be studied under mainly two heading that is autosomal anomalies and sex chromosomal anomalies. We will discuss these two concepts one by one. First let me talk about autosomal anomalies and the best example for that is Down syndrome. As I already told Autosomal anomalies means gain or loss of one or more chromosome in any of the autosome. As I already told, humans have 44 autosome. Out of 44 autosome, there can be addition or deletion of one or more chromosome in any of the autosome. So that is the meaning of autosomal anomalies. And the best example for that is Down syndrome. In the individual with the Down syndrome, there is an extra chromosome or additional chromosome in the 21st chromosome. Normally, 21st chromosome will be having two copies of chromosome but in this individual 21st chromosome will be having three copies of chromosome so because of three copies of 21st chromosome it is called as trisomy 21st so there is an additional chromosome in the 21st chromosome so because of this extra chromosome or additional chromosome this individual will be having 47 chromosome instead of normal 46 chromosome so 2n number is 46 plus 1 plus 1 means additional or extra chromosome in the 21st chromosome so 46 plus 1 is 47 so the individual with the down syndrome will be having 47 chromosome because of extra chromosome in the 21st chromosome this down syndrome is named after Landon Down who described this syndrome for the first time during 1866 if you study the symptoms of this syndrome or the individual with the Down syndrome will be short stature. They will be short and having small round head with the straight hair. These individuals will be having furrowed tongue which is a unique character of this syndrome. They will be having furrowed tongue and partially open mouth. This individual will have broad palm. So palm will be broad with the characteristic palm creases. The palm creases of this individual is not similar to the other individual. They have unique or characteristic palm creases. Their physical, psychomotor and mental development is retired. So they will be having retired physical, psychomotor and mental development. So that is regarding the Down syndrome which is one of the examples for autosomal anomalies. Now let me talk about sex chromosomal anomalies. As I already told, sex chromosomal anomalies means addition or deletion of one or more chromosomes in the sex chromosome. And the best example for that is Klinefelter syndrome and Turner syndrome. We'll discuss these two syndrome one by one. First, let me talk about Klinefelter syndrome. Klinefelter syndrome is a genetic disease 
caused mainly due to extra X chromosome. X chromosome is nothing but the sex chromosome. So there is an additional or extra X chromosome along with the Y chromosome. So normal individual will be having X and Y chromosome. But this individual will have two X chromosome or extra X chromosome apart from the Y chromosome. So in total there are three sex chromosome instead of two X chromosome. That's why it comes under sex chromosomal anomalies. So there are three sex chromosome apart from the 44 normal autosomes. So 44 plus 3 that is 47. Because of this extra X chromosome, the number of chromosome in this individual will be 47 or this individual will be having 47 chromosome instead of normal 46 chromosome and that extra chromosome is extra X chromosome that is extra sex chromosome. Because of the presence of Y chromosome, this individual shows normal masculine development or regular masculine development will be there in this individual because of the Y chromosome. But because of 2X chromosome, this individual also shows feminine development like gynecomastia. Gynecomastia means development of breast. So they shows normal masculine development along with the feminine development because of 2X chromosome. So because of this both masculine and feminine development this individual will be sterile. So this individual will be sterile because of both masculine and feminine development. Along with that they have long arms, legs with the large feet and hands. So that is regarding the Klenfelter syndrome. Now let me talk about the Turner syndrome. Turner syndrome is a genetic disease which was described for the first time by Henry H. Turner during 1938. This Turner syndrome is caused mainly due to absence of one X chromosome or one X chromosome is missing in this individual. Normal individual will be having two X chromosome but the individual with the Turner syndrome lack one X chromosome or one X chromosome will be missing in this individual. So they will be having only one sex chromosome instead of a two sex chromosome. That's why it comes under sex chromosomal anomalies. So they will be having only one X chromosome. That's why the karyotype of this individual is 44 plus X0. X0 means only one X chromosome is present and another sex chromosome or X chromosome is absent in this individual apart from normal 44 autosome. So they will be having only one sex chromosome. So 44 autosome plus only one sex chromosome. That's why this individual will be having 45 chromosome instead of normal 46 chromosome because of absence of a 1x chromosome or 1x chromosome is missing in this individual. That's why this individual will be having 45 chromosome instead of normal 46 chromosome. Because of lacking or missing of 1x chromosome, the feminine development is incomplete in this individual. That's why these individuals are sterile females. Anyhow, 1x chromosome is present because of that certain amount of feminine development will be present. But because of absence of another x chromosome, there is an incomplete feminine development in this individual. That's why they are sterile females. They lack secondary sexual character or the secondary sexual development is also incomplete in this individual because of absence of one X chromosome. That's why they shows underdeveloped ovaries, underdeveloped breast, uterus, body hair, etc. So that is about the three syndrome which comes under aneuploidy. Now let me talk about another concept that is polyploidy. Polyploidy is a case in which there is a extra whole set of chromosome. So there is an extra whole set, not one chromosome. Whole set of chromosome is extra or it is doubled in this case because of failure of cytokinesis after telophase. Normally after telophase there is a cytokinesis because of absence or failure of the cytokinesis whole set of chromosome is added or doubled in this individual or in this case. And this is a rare case which can be seen in some of the plant. So that is all about the chromosomal disorder. I hope this video will be useful. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.